Good morning and happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing really, really well. I wanted to know where you're connecting from. Where are you watching from? Please share below. I would love to personally reach out and say hi to each and every one of you and see where you're coming from around the world. It's such a beautiful thing to know that a platform can touch the entire world. I love that. I love connections we can make and I love the insight and the awareness that we can share in such an easy place. That being said, today is a very important conversation. And this conversation is that you deserve to have what it is that you want, whatever it is in your life. And that we are reminded that by our actions, by our lack of actions, that's how we create the experience that's going on in our day-to-day -day life. It's a really cool thing for me to be able to remind you with because we oftentimes feel that things just happen to people. And sometimes they do, but not normally so much when you think about it. Some stuff is like that, but there's a lot of life that is what you put into it, you get back and then some more. Life is very, very gracious that way for all of us. And I shall say for all of us that are conscious about that. So I'm going to ask you to be really mindful moving forward in your healing process, no matter what type of path you're on. The healing process is the healing process. We're all in this together. When you choose to become more conscious, when you choose to become more aware of your habits, of your patterns, of your goals, of your intentions, we learn to take personal responsibility for it. So I hear a lot online about how things are given to people or how it must be nice of having this, 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 or this. And the truth is, is it's all a beautiful thing in our lives to be able to have gratitude for. And when it is that we do want more, when it is we do want a different outcome, if we have the courage to ask for help, if we have the courage to ask for support, if we allow ourselves to have the courage to clarify specifically what it is we need, we are now then holding hands with what we call personal accountability or personal responsibility. This is probably the most important piece of the healing journey besides just the, the grace, if you will, of waking up. And it's a really important piece to understand. I don't know where this comes from. I don't know if it's that we've been taught that if we do enough good things or if we show up in a certain way, that we'll get incredible results. And I want to be the person here, just to be honest with you, and I want to be the person here sharing with you that if you want extraordinary results, you have to put extraordinary focus in. And it makes my heart sad when I get on the phone with people and um, let's say we're working on weight loss or let's say we're working with energy. And because I'm a medical intuitive, I can find the type of diet specifically that would work best for whatever that person is wanting to achieve and connect with in their day-to-day -day experience. And a lot of times people will say, I just don't understand I'm doing everything that, that you know you shared about, or I don't understand why this outcome's not happening for me. And and I'm like, well, you know, let's let's look at it. Let's let's see what's going on. Our bodies and our lives are created on not only the actions that we have, but also the beliefs that we have. But today I really wanna to talk to you all about the actions that we choose to take. Our minds do a very interesting thing. So I've been a medical intuitive for over 30 years and I cannot share with you how many times people have shared with me, I don't understand why I'm not getting the results I want. I'm not sure I'm not getting the result I want. And we look at what they are doing and they come to me for, let's say, a session. We get them set up to get success in what they're doing. And then they say it's not working. So, of course, I want to follow up and connect with them because it's a curious point to me. I would say nine times out of ten, people aren't doing what they think they're doing. I would say nine times out of ten, people genuinely are thinking they're putting more effort in or they're saying um, they're, they're saying that they're doing certain habits or, or things and it might be more than it had been before but not enough of a change or enough of a transition to see the type of results that they want. 
a lot of this patterning and maybe you've experienced that. So if you were working with me and let's say you were trying, I'm just using this as a random thing. Let's say you're trying to lose weight and you just for the life of you can't figure out why you're not losing weight. We're going to talk about the type of protocol that your body wants. We're going to talk about specifics that your body wants. And if you choose not to follow those things, your body obviously is not going to have very fast or very um, big results. The interesting piece, though, is a lot of times people come to me and say, I don't understand, I've been doing it. So then I ask them to write out or to journal or to put into an app what they're actually consuming. And they'll say, oh, well, why do I have to do that? I'm like, well, you have to do that so we can see why what it is that you're working with and doing, taking actions of aren't actually working. So for example, can't tell you how many times I've talked to people and their bodies actually share that they're not having an easy time breaking down any carbohydrate at all. So I'll say, oh, you know, well, how are you doing with your carbohydrates? They'll say, I'm totally staying away from them. I, I don't understand what the problem is. This just recently happened actually. And the woman sent me her, her screenshot and in every meal, there were still carbohydrates that were sitting there even though there was a list of food supplied and all of this, her mind told her, I'm doing totally, totally exactly what it is you said. I don't understand what it, why it works. And the two things that her body really wanted her to focus on steering away from, those two things are the things she was having every single day, if not several times a day. Yet somehow she was expecting to have extraordinary results. This is from a form of not understanding that our actions matter. This comes from not understanding that we feel worthy of receiving what it is we want and that we need to be patient with ourselves and honest with ourselves and clear with ourselves and understand that the healing journey is a process. The healing journey is a process of unconditional love with ourselves, curiosity, and learning to understand what's going on with our body, what our bodies are responding to, what our minds are responding to. One thing that I can tell you for certain is I seldom tell people not to do something. However, when it comes to weight loss for people in general, I do talk about certain food groups to steer kind of away from if their body's responding to a certain thing with an inflammatory response. Oftentimes when this happens, it doesn't mean for the rest of their life they're going to have to be eating this way, but for a period of time to get the results they want, they may need to follow a certain protocol. They may need to follow something that seems or feels more astringent. So anytime we take something away, we focus on what it is we get or we receive out of what it is that we're doing, right? But this is the tricky thing and that's the importance for all of us. I have mentors, that's an important reason why, why it's great for you to have a mentor or someone at least to hold accountability with because our brains pretend we're doing more than we're actually doing a lot of the time. Our brains pretend we're putting 150% of effort in and oftentimes we're putting in 20 to 30% of effort. So when someone calls me up or texts me or sends me an email and says that what we're doing isn't really working, normally my next step is let me see what you're actually doing. Have you been actually tracking what you've been doing? They're like, no, why would I do that? All the more reason. Next thing you know, oh my gosh, I didn't realize. Yeah, I was having chips as a snack. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, I was having pizza at lunch. Oh yeah, I didn't realize. Well, it's time to realize things and to allow ourselves to understand that some things are complicated in the healing process. And self-care doesn't have to be one of those. But in order to get results with self-care, we have to know what we're doing. When it comes to working on wanting to heal your body from the inside out, we need to understand and we need to know what it is that you're actually consuming. I had another session with a gentleman and he had some goals and he had some health conditions going on. This was about, I would say, a year ago. And he called me up for a follow-up four to six weeks later. He wasn't getting the results he wanted. There were certain foods that were spiking his blood sugar that he was consuming, certain things that were creating a big problem for him when it came to how he was physically feeling. Again, he says to me, I don't understand. I'm doing everything that you said. I said, can you do me a huge favor before we have our follow-up? I would love you to write down every single thing that you are consuming and no judgment and tell me the amounts of every single thing you're consuming. Consistently, the foods that he said he was not consuming, he was having on average once a day. 
You wouldn't think once a day is a big deal, but once a day can change the whole sail of how your whole boat moves forward in creating what you want, if you will. Because one thing to the side can create a high inflammatory response that can put you in a kind of delayed healing process. So if you're not getting the results that you're looking for, I really want you to pay attention and ask yourself, am I being completely honest with what it is that I'm actually doing? People say that they exercise really hard and it's a gentle walk that they're doing. And maybe for you, that's really hard. But for a lot of people, they'll say, oh my gosh, I exercise so much today. How much? They don't know. They're not tracking. All of a sudden, that 45 minutes that they're telling us turns into eight or nine minutes because it seemed like a lot. Same thing with water intake. Same thing with sleep. So if you want to heal your body from the inside out, I highly recommend whatever you're doing Make sure you're doing what you think you're doing. Track it, pay attention for a good week or two. I personally do this every single season. So for me, when the spring starts, the summer starts, the fall starts, I actually track my sleep, I track my movement, I, I track how many fruits and vegetables I'm eating and what is it I'm eating. I'm tracking how much water am I actually consuming. I'm telling you right now, so much of the time I am surprised by what it is I'm eating. I'm like, yeah, I'm not really eating any of that. And then I'm like, wow, wow, okay, all right. Thank you for your honesty. That's what I tell myself. Thank you for my honesty and the desire to be honest. So if you're in that boat and you're thinking, I'm following this protocol with this person they gave me, or I'm following this book, are you really is my main question. I would take time to write these things out and remember to get good results on anything with healing the body. You need proper sleep, proper water, lots of healthy, natural foods to support your body to be able to heal and to get that, that overall inflammatory response down. And I would highly recommend journaling what you're actually doing to make sure it's matching what you think you're doing. All right. So this is not a judgment. This is nothing of that nature. This is just a gentle hug to each and every one of you because I want you to get the results that you're worthy of getting. Whether it's wanting to heal from some illness that you've been told is hopeless, whether it's you wanting to lose some weight, whether it's you wanting to gain better sleep. All of these things are critical because your body is simply communicating to you how it's being affected by the lifestyle choices you're making. That is what our health is. Our health is a symptom of the life that we are living and the choices that we are making. We don't ever want to have the attitude that there's something wrong with our bodies. Perhaps there's something wrong with how we've cared for our bodies, but our bodies are just adapting and connecting in to what choices we have made across the board. All right? Huge hugs, oh, happy Wednesday, and it is awesome to connect with you today.